G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing a video on the top three things to do to your Realme phone as soon as you get it. And the first one was actually a question by a listener on one of my videos saying, hey, how do you set up themes on a Realme device? And I'm like, you know what, that's a good question and there's probably lots of people that would like to know that. Um, and a particular viewer, I forget, uh, I can't remember your name, I do apologize, but this video is for you. There's two more tips, but the first one is how to set up themes on your Realme device. And this is how we're gonna do it. So first way is hold your finger on the display like this, and it turns your home screen into a customizable set of apps, widgets, and wallpapers, and that sort of thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on settings, just like so. Then once I'm in the settings drawer, I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and you can see here it says set theme. So I'm gonna click here. And here are three themes I've already set up. The default one, which is the one I'm on now, Art of Simplicity, which is one I downloaded earlier, and Keep Pursuing, I downloaded that because I like the sound of it, the idea of pursuing something. But how did I get those? I opened the theme store, and I think if you do this for the first time, it says something slightly different, but uh, you tap here, Open Theme Store, and then it brings up a whole heap of themes you can download for free. How cool is that? Free themes. Now, if you go on your Galaxy phone these days, most of the themes you have to pay for. So it's really good to see a theme store where most of them are free. Now, I did actually set up on my um, an account here. Go back to home, you can see. So let's download this one. And then it's downloaded and we're gonna press apply. It's applying the theme. And there is my home screen. Now, as you can see, look at the app icons. Very different, very different to what you would normally see on your phone. So that is that particular theme. Wallpaper's different, app icons are different, and the general theme is different. Now, I don't particularly like that one, or maybe I downloaded it thinking I liked it and changed my mind. So I'm gonna show you the second way to get into your theme store. Go into your app drawer, scroll down to your settings, then we're gonna go into home screen and lock screen. Scroll to the bottom and there is set theme again, just like it was when we went in through the home screen. And there's my default one. I'm gonna apply that. And that is my preferred theme on the Realme phone. Now, maybe depending on the type of device you've got, because I know some devices, some of the lower end devices have different software. Um, so it might not be included in the lower end ones because they need to perform better. Um, so just bear that in mind. But hit me up in the comments if your device doesn't have that and I'll try and look into it for you. Now, another thing I think is really cool. Go into your settings, scroll down and you can set your icon style. So that's Pebble, and I like Pebble. I think it's the smoothest looking. I think it's the most pleasant looking, but you can go material design, and that makes everything a little bit sharper, and custom, and then you can change how rounded the corners are or how square, so you can go like full round circle or full square, but I like it fairly rounded. Your foreground, you can see the icon inside the icon is um, smaller or bigger, so I like it fairly big. And then the icon itself, you can make small or big. So I like that, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with that, that looks fairly good to me. Now my second tip is double tap to wake and double tap to sleep. These are cool. Now let's just have a look, double tap, phone goes to sleep. So I always just quick double tap my phone and put it in my pocket. Super quick. I don't have to fumble around looking for the power button, just double tap. And it's the same one I unlock as you just seen then. Now for me, the face unlock on the Realme X3 Super Zoom is super fast. Same with the Realme 5G and the Realme 7 Pro. The uh, face unlock is just so fast, it's the best there is. Now, how do I do that? I'm gonna go into the settings. Convenience tools, gestures and motions, screen off gestures. Double tap to turn screen on. 
And that's interesting, eh? Because how do you double tap to turn screen off? It's in a different location. So then we're going to go out of there. We're going to go into home screen and lock screen. Scroll down and you can see it says double tap to lock. So double tap to wake and double tap to lock are actually in two different places, but set them up. I guarantee you it's going to make using your phone easier and it's going to improve your workflow of your mobile phone. Using, if you do that, say, 100 times a day, then it's going to save you a bit of time across the day. And it's just convenient. So I really, really dig that. Now, my third tip is to set up your smart sidebar here, just like that. See that? I swiped in from the right and I can take a screenshot, start video recording, open Google Fit, open YouTube Studio, or open YouTube Music. Now, they're the three apps I use the most. You might have like TikTok, Facebook, and WhatsApp there, and these two might be the same. But you can also edit these. You can go in and you can remove one. Say I take out Google Fit and I put in WhatsApp. But I don't really like doing that. I like having access to my Google Fit app first, so I'm going to remove WhatsApp, go back in and put in the Google Fit app. There we go. So that's how I prefer my smart sidebar set up. But how do you do that? We go back to our settings. I'm going to scroll down to convenience tools and there it is here, smart sidebar. Now you can have it on or off, which is pretty cool. You can change the location of it and you can add in different apps. And it also supports split screen mode. Now one thing I do want to show, you can have it so it's completely transparent. So you can't see it but I like to have it so I can fully see it. I don't care if it's there or not. And you can also hide it on full screen apps. Now, I don't necessarily need that part on. So that is three great tips for your Realme device. Turn on Smart Slider, double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, and how to set up a theme. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do appreciate all your support. Now, quick mention, Realme X3 Super Zoom, was released last year and is still a killer device. So much so that I've taken my SIM card out of my Galaxy S21 Ultra and my SIM card is in the one year old Realme device. I get just as much speed out of it and it's just really fluid, really easy to handle as well. Battery life is way better than the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Probably the only area where it's not as good for me is in the cameras but not so bad that I think it's worth carrying around the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I'd prefer to have the X3 Super Zoom. What do you think? Hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget, keep it respectful. If it's disrespectful, I'll delete you. I don't really care about you. But if it's respectful, then I encourage all sorts of chat down there in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.